Good Tuesday morning. I'm your meteorologist Melissa Terrazas here in the 13 News Now Weather Center. Let's talk about your tropics. So this is the outlook that was posted well before the beginning of hurricane season, which began around June 1st. Now, on average, we have about 14 named storms, but we were forecasted to have anywhere from 14 to 21. Now, as far as hurricanes go, on average, we have seven. We were forecasted to have anywhere from six to 10. Major hurricanes, we usually have around three. This year, we were forecasted to have anywhere from three to six. Now, let's take a look at how it usually pans out. Now, the beginning of hurricane season is generally pretty quiet. And then we began to increase that activity usually around August. But peak hurricane season is right around September, early September, and right on September 10th to be exact. After that, that's when we began to see the trend line really begin to descend. And right now, we're already beginning to see some activity began to quiet down with the exception of what we are currently tracking. We're not cr tracking any current disturbances, but we are tracking what is hurricane, a major hurricane, Ian. Let's take a look at what we've already seen this year. So we had Alex, Bonnie, Colin, Danielle, Earl, Fiona, Gaston, all that came relatively soon. I mean, within the past two weeks, her mean that formed off the west coast of Africa, it was short lived. It was a tropical storm. And now we're tracking Hurricane Ian it is a strong and powerful hurricane as a category three. But before we get into tracking Ian, I want to talk about what makes up basically a hurricane and how the different quadrants are uh, separated. So this front right quadrant, that's where you're going to get your maximum hurricane impact. When you take it over to the left, that's where we're going to see the most significant winds. We're also going to see the most significant winds in the back right quadrant. When we take it over to the left, now this is known as the weakest but still very dangerous area. Now, Ian, major hurricane, category three, officially made landfall just before the five o'clock hour along parts of western Cuba earlier this morning. Now there's higher terrain in Cuba. Now what does that mean that we could see mudslides when you're dealing with a hurricane force winds, when you're dealing with heavy, heavy amounts of rain? And we're actually already beginning to see the system bring impacts to the state of Florida. As a category three major hurricane, it's actually expected to strengthen. Now as of right now, as of the latest advisory, it is moving north at 12 miles per hour. We have sustained winds of 125 miles per hour. Those gusts are actually getting up to 155 miles per hour. Now, what's it gonna do as it, as it continues to move north and enters the Gulf of Mexico? Well, it's projected to strengthen. We have warmer waters in the Gulf of Mexico. This is gonna allow for this hurricane to really build up some more strength. Right now, it's 12 miles per hour moving north. Now, if it moves faster than this, we could see impacts to Florida sooner. As of right now, it is projected to make landfall along the western coast of Florida as early as tomorrow night into early Thursday morning as a category three. If it does make landfall as a category three hurricane, it would be a major hurricane. We're looking at storm surge. We're also dealing with heavy amounts of rainfall expected all across the state of Florida, but the main threats really lie along parts of the western coast with the highest risk being between the Tampa Bay region, point south extending through Fort Myers, Florida. As it continues to make its way up north through the state central parts of Florida, weakening, eventually becoming a tropical storm as early as your Friday morning. And then as it continues to move north from there, continuing to weaken, turning into a tropical depression as early as Saturday morning into your Sunday morning as well. Let's take a look at your top three major models. So we have the American, the European, and we have the GFS. They are tightly packed together. This means that all three of them within the next two, three days are saying the same thing. It's gonna move north from Cuba. It's gonna enter the Gulf of Mexico. It's gonna strengthen and from there, it's going to impact the state of Florida. Now, two of the models being the American model and the European model have it impacting, make it landfall along parts of the Tampa Bay region, while the Canadian model takes it due north and impacting parts of and making officially landfall along parts of the Florida Panhandle. Now, what it does from there, that's when we begin to see a little bit more uncertainty, but two of the major models now are saying all of that moisture is gonna cut through parts of Georgia, the Carolinas, and even Northeast North Carolina and coastal Virginia, it's gonna bring us some rain. So here's a look at the future cast, taking things, bringing things back here to home. We are going to be seeing that increase of showers, wet weather 
as soon as really Friday afternoon into your Friday evening, and that's going to stay through the weekend. Future cast giving us an idea of what Friday night is looking like. All of that moisture coming in from what is currently Hurricane Ian, the remnants. That moisture is going to be pushed to the east coast. We are going to see some rain, which is something that we actually do need since we're sitting under those dry conditions. Parts of the eastern shore actually even under the severe drought conditions. So we are forecasting really for the bulk of this to occur Saturday. Now we are expecting periods of moderate to heavy rainfall. So this means that we could be dealing with some locally ponding or flooding. So you definitely want to make sure that you're staying weather aware as soon as we get into your Friday and into your weekend as well. We'll be dealing with scattered wet weather for your Sunday as well and then lingering moisture still hanging on before exiting off the coast for your Monday and your Tuesday.